Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. We're going to talk about analyzing surveys using three set Venn diagrams. For example, in a survey of 33 college students, respondents were asked about their preferred breakfast fruit. The options were apples, bananas, cantaloupe, or none of these. Here's the result. 16 liked apples, 14 bananas, 8 liked apples and bananas, 6 liked apples and cantaloupe, 9 liked bananas and cantaloupe, 6 students liked only cantaloupe, 3 liked apples and bananas but not cantaloupe, and 19 did not like bananas. Determine how many students liked A, all three fruits, B, only apples, and C, none of these. So one of the things to keep in mind when we're working on a survey problem like this one is that we cannot assume any information that's not explicitly stated. For example, the first fact listed says 16 liked apples. We can't assume that they only like apples. It's possible that they like apples and the other fruits. We're going to begin by setting up a Venn diagram with a circle to represent each type of fruit. A for apple, B for banana, C for cantaloupe. Notice that this divides the Venn diagram into eight distinct regions. Label each of these eight regions with letters or Roman numerals so that we can discuss the regions. We're going to avoid using numbers because that might be confusing since we'll be discussing how many elements are in each region. In other words, the cardinalities of the regions. Notice the region in the very center, lowercase a. That region is often the region we look for labeling first because it's the most specific. It includes everyone who likes apples, bananas, and cantaloupe. Let's recall what we're looking for. We're looking for how many students liked A, all three fruits, B, only apples, and C, none of these. In part A, we're looking for region A, the number of students who like all three fruits. In part B, we're looking for only apples. So we're looking for part of set A, but not all of set A, only the part that doesn't overlap bananas and cantaloupes, B and C. So we're looking for region F. And then in part C, we want to know how many of the students didn't like any of the three, region H. The next step is to list out all of the facts that we know. And we're going to search through these facts to find one that tells us about exactly one of the regions because we really need a starting point. For example, we're not going to choose 16 apples because 16 apples refers to all of the regions within set A, regions A, B, C, and F. The first one we are going to look at is the one that says that six students only liked cantaloupe. That would only refer to region G. It's part of the set containing all the students who like cantaloupe, but it doesn't overlap those students who like apples and bananas in sets A and B. We label how many students fall into that category, which is six, and we cross that fact off our list, and then we continue looking for facts that describe exactly one region. Another fact that describes exactly one region is three apples and bananas, but not cantaloupe. Three students who like apples and bananas, which means they're in sets A and B, but not cantaloupe, which means that they are not in set C, or in other words, in C complement. Notice that region lowercase b is the only region that fits that description. It's in both set A and B without being part of C. So that means we know that there are three students in that portion of the diagram. These are the only two facts that describe exactly one region. So what we're, we're going to cross that fact off our list and begin to look for other facts that include regions B or G, the two that we have information about already, and only one other region. For example, there are eight students who like apples and bananas. That would mean that those eight students lie in the intersection between A and B. But we know that is split into two smaller regions, lowercase a and lowercase b, and yellow. However, we know that there were already three students exactly in region lowercase b. So if there are eight altogether in the intersection of capital A and capital B, that only leaves five that could be in region lowercase a. 
we label that, cross off the facts that we just used, and continue to look for facts that involve known regions but are missing only one other region. Six students like apples and cantaloupe. Apples and cantaloupe is the intersection between the red set and the green set. That would be regions lowercase a and lowercase c in yellow, but we already know region lowercase a has exactly five students. So if there are six in that intersection, that only leaves one remaining in region lowercase c. After labeling the one, we cross that fact off our list and continue to look for facts that involve known regions but are missing only one region. How about we look at the intersection between B and C, for example. Do we know something about that intersection? That's right, we do. We know that there are nine students who like bananas and cantaloupe. And we already know that five of those students are in region A. So we subtract the number in region lowercase d must be nine minus five. That leaves four, so we label those four. We mark that fact we just used off our list and we continue to look for facts that involve known regions but are missing only one region. How about we look at apples? The set of 16 students who like apples is describing the entire set A, the circle that is highlighted in yellow. That actually includes four regions, but notice that we already know three of them. So if there are 16 students who like apples, we can subtract off 3, 5, and 1, and we're left with 7 in region F. By the way, region F reflects those students who only like apples. Now we cross off that 16 students who like apples from our list, and we're going to have to use one of the remaining two facts. Let's look at 14 students who like bananas. Again, students who like bananas encompasses the regions lowercase a, lowercase b, d, and e, but we already have information about three of those four. So we can find the fourth one by subtracting 14, the number of students who like bananas altogether, minus 3, 5, and 4. That's going to leave us with two students who like only bananas. After we label that on our Venn diagram and cross off the 14 bananas fact, we're really down to only one fact left. And that tells us that 19 did not like bananas. This describes everything outside of B, or B complement. That includes regions lowercase c, lowercase f, lowercase g, and lowercase h. And the only one of those we don't know was region h. So we take 19 minus 7, 1, and 6, and we're left with 5. We now have all of the cardinalities of each region labeled, so we're going to answer the questions that we were asked at the beginning. First, part A, how many like all three fruits? Well, that's region lowercase a, and we know there are five students in that region. How many like only apples? Well, that's region F, and we know there are seven students in that region. And how many like none of these? We know that's region H, and there were five students in that region. So we've completed our survey question.